All right, Davidson's Josh Barr, a three-time GGI champ this year at 175 pounds. Uh, smaller bracket for you, only a couple matches. I think same as last year. Um, you know, talk about your performance in, in this opening week for you. Uh, I thought I wrestled well. Um, as always, there's uh, you know always something to improve on. So you know, just break down the film a little bit as much as I can and uh, get back to work. You know, I'm hungry for a lot of things in my life. So uh, you know, I just use this as a kind of preparation for those things that I want. And uh, you know, just assessing everything and continue to improve every single time I step on the mat. Yeah, you know, it, this is something we I think talked about with Facundo as well. You know, just kind of staying motivated as, as a senior and a top nationally ranked guy. But what sorts of things do you have to you know, maybe do on a daily basis or a weekly basis to kind of stay locked in as um, for the high school season? You know, my goals aren't just high school. I want to be a four-time NCAA champion, a world champion, Olympic champion. So those are the things I think of every day. You know, I think of my goals. I think of what it takes to get there, and uh, you know, I think of the person I want to be every day, you know, and I strive to do that every single day. I strive to push myself and break myself every single day in training, every single day in the classroom. I want to better myself overall as a person, not just a wrestler. So I think that uh, just little goals every single day on top of those big goals and, you know, it keeps me motivated. I'm hungry every single day, you know, there's, uh, there's always someone better than you, I think. How many trips have you made to State College uh, you know, to train with? You know, I think David Taylor's clubs out yeah. there and, and those guys. Yeah, and, and probably, probably four or five. And uh, you know they're awesome, man. It's a uh, it's a different feel from what I'm used to here. You know, obviously I grew up in the King Donho system, and uh, you know it's just a different a different feel, a different uh, look. You know, different technique in some areas and stuff. So it's awesome, and uh, you know it makes me uh, so excited to be out there. I can't wait to be out there full time, training at Penn State and the NLWC and everything like that. It's, uh, it's gonna be fun. As far as you know, this senior year, um, you know, in Michigan. One for your fourth state title, be one for your team's third state title in a row. Um, you know, what, what sorts of things do you have to uh, do as a leader of the team to you know, get, get them back to Saturday night in February and make another run in the title? Uh, just preach and focus and uh, staying tough in uh, tough situations. You know, uh, being challenged is, I believe, one of the best things you can do in your life. You know, I believe to be successful, you have to be challenged at least once every day. That's my, uh, that's kind of my rule. I have to do something that breaks me and pushes me every single day. So I try and preach that, the same thing to other people. And, uh, you know, just keep them focused and, uh, you know, keep them motivated, you know. Uh, it's not easy to win a team state title. It takes every uh, single guy on the team. I can score as much points as the next guy and I can give up as much points as the next guy. So I think coming together as a team and really doing the hard things together is, uh, you know, I think that's how we've won the last two. And I think if we're going to win another one, that's how it's going to be done. Last question. Um, the senior class in Michigan, most of the guys, whether they're Davison or not, you know, Gundy, CC, whatever, you guys grew up wrestling together on teams and stuff. Is this the best class in the history of the state? Uh, I'm biased, so I'd say yeah. I think, uh, you know, Braden, me and Braden are going to uh, Penn State, uh, Dylan and Caden going to Michigan, Evan Harriman and Remy Connor going to Michigan State. I think that uh, that's just six guys. I know there's others that I'm, uh, you know, not mentioning, but um, I think that's definitely the best class. You know, I think that uh, our potential is very high, and I think that. Uh, what we did as uh, young kids, you know, training together and uh, wrestling together, I think I think it's really what helped this class become what it was. You know, we were always out of state together. You know, I don't think probably past the age of nine and ten, I wrestled in state. You know, much during the season, it was always out of state with those guys and going to war, getting our butts beat all the time at places like Virginia Beach and uh, Wildwood, New Jersey, those top dual tournaments, Tulsa Nationals. I think that. You know, going those places together and taking our butt whoopings together and, you know, also winning together is what's made this class what it is. And I think it's why we're going to be successful in the long run. Awesome. Well, congrats on another dominant performance and uh, best luck for the rest of the year. Thank you. I appreciate it.